Hi guys, welcome to Lori's Crochet Corner 2. We're going to do a tutorial today on a moss stitch dishcloth. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. We've been waiting, I know. We are going to start out today with Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I'm using a beige color. Um, this is a four ply, 100% acrylic yarn. I highly recommend it. It doesn't shrink when you wash it. It is terrific. When you uh, wash your washcloths or your dishcloths, they're gonna come out just like you just made them. They're not gonna shrink and be half the size that they were when you first started. So you're going to need your yarn. Also a pair of scissors, a size H crochet hook, and a tapestry needle, and that's all you need. So let's get started. Okay, now I did a chain of 20. All right. Now when I made my dish claws, I actually chained 40 and I made them nine by nine. You can make yours any size you want. Just get yourself a measure tape and you know, chain till you have it the size you want. Now to begin, what you do is you go into your second chain from the hook. This is the first one. You wanna go into this one. Grab your yarn, pull it up. You have two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn again and pull it through and that's your single crochet. Chain one, and then you're gonna skip the next stitch and go into the next one. Grab your yarn, pull it up. You have two loops. Grab your yarn, pull it through, and there's your single crochet. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, which is there. Go into the next one. Grab your yarn, pull it up for your two loops. Grab your yarn, pull it through, and chain one. So you're going to do this all the way across. I only chained 20 just so that I could show you how to do the moss stitch. Like I said, when I made my dish claws, I chained 40, because I wanted them to be good size. Okay, so you skip the next one, go into the next, grab it, pull it up, Grab your yarn, pull it through, and there's your single crochet, and then you chain one. So you just skip, go through the next one, do your single crochet, chain one, and there's, skip that one there, and go into the next. Grab your yarn, pull it through, there's your single crochet, chain one, Skip one into the next. Do your single crochet, chain one. Skip the next, go into the next chain. Pull up a loop, single crochet, chain one. And we are at the end and you can see you have two loops. Skip that last one there and go into the very last chain. Do a single crochet. Oop. chain one and turn your work. There's your first row. Now for your second row, you can see you have your last stitch right here, which is a solid stitch. Next to it is a hole. You wanna go into that hole, pull your yarn up, grab your yarn, pull it through, make your single crochet and chain one. So now you're gonna be skipping all the solid stitches, going into the hole next to them. You're gonna single crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, which is right there, go into the hole next to it, and just take your time because sometimes they're hard to see. Uh, and it also depends on what color yarn you're using also. So there's the next solid one, and we'll go into the hole right next to that. Single crochet, chain one. Skip that one, go into the hole next to it. Pull your yarn up, do your single, and chain one. Skip the next. They're pretty easy to see on this color yarn. That's why I chose to use a lighter color to show you. So you can see the, the solid stitch single crochet right there and there is the hole right next to it. 
Go in there, pull it up. There's your two loops. Single crochet, pull them through. Chain one. And there's your next one right there. Go into the hole, pull up your yarn, single crochet, chain one. So we got one right here. The last one is a little hard to see. So you can see the stitch right there. So you have to find the hole next to it. Grab your yarn, pull it up, go through, and chain one. I'm going to do one more row. Okay, so here's your first solid stitch here. This is on the third row we're working. So there's the hole. So we'll go in there, pull the yarn up, pull it through, and uh, chain. Skip the next solid, which is there, and we'll go in the hole. Pull up your yarn, two loops. Pull your yarn through the two loops, and chain one. And this is repetitive. I mean, you just do this through the whole pattern. Once you, uh, you know, until you get it the size that you want it, guys. Sorry about that. My goodness. I got that a little caught up there. Chain one. There we go. <laughs> okay, we'll go into the next hole. Single crochet, chain one. The next one right there single crochet chain one skip that one go in the hole next to it pull the yarn up single crochet chain one coming along this is a really really pretty pattern and guys anybody can do this if you know how to do a chain and a single crochet this pattern is really for you it's so easy guys this is one that you can sit down and you can watch TV and you can just do it at your leisure. Which I do sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we come to the last one. You can see it right there. Go into the last hole, pull it up, make your single crochet. Okay, so we're gonna say that this is the end of the washcloth, okay? We're gonna say we got the length that we needed. Now I'm going to chain two because I want to do an edge on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the first stitch and I'm going to go into the second, pull my yarn up and pull it through that loop. That's a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next. You're going to go into the next, pull your yarn through and go right through that loop and chain one. So we're going basically into the holes again. Grab your yarn, pull it through there, and slip, or excuse me, single quarter. Chain, oh my goodness. My words all talked up here. All right, so as you can see, that'll make an edge on there. That'll kind of give it a more finished look. So you're going to go into the next one here, grab your yarn, pull it through that loop, chain one. And you can see the solid stitches, so you just want to make sure you go into the hole. So you're actually still slip, skipping one, but you're slip stitching into the stitch instead of doing a single crochet. So into the next hole, grab your yarn, pull it up, pull it through the loop, chain one. Okay, I'm looking through my phone, guys. I think it's making me dizzy. <laughs> okay, into the next hole, pull it up, bring it through the loop, and chain one. In the next hole, pull it up, pull it through, and then you're going to chain one. And the last one, grab your yarn, pull it through that loop, and chain one. And there you go. There you have it. That is your edge. You can do that around the whole cloth. If you do decide to, you can go like right in between the two rows and do a slip stitch and then you'll be doing one here. But I mean, you can just go right in between the two rows and do a slip stitch. Do that all the way around and that will give it a real nice finished look. I haven't finished mine yet because 
I intend to come on and do another tutorial and I'm going to show y'all how to make a laced edging for these and it's very cute gives it a real nice fancy little look and they make wonderful gifts so the next tutorial I will be doing you will see this one and this one again and I will be doing a lace edging all the way around and that will be the next tutorial guys so until then I hope that this uh, was helpful to you good luck I hope you uh, you know if you get one made please do show it I'd love to see it if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share and if you haven't subscribed guys please subscribe you all have a great day and i will see you the next time bye guys have a great day